memoirs have been all around Anglin. Today I'm doing a little bit of fishing down at the Warren at Folkestone and I'm trying out the Leader Icon M Sport Ultra Power. Um, I did a casting review on this a few weeks ago. Um, I really love it as a casting rod. So now I'm exploring its capabilities as a, as a fishing rod instead. Um, I've already had a bass, to a one pound bass, not very big. And now, nice little sea scorpion, nothing massive, but at least we're catching fish. So here I've got the Leader Icon M Sport Ultra Power on the left and the Leader Icon M Sport Power on the right. And I've had two bass so far, um, and the second one was quite close in, so I've got the Leader Icon M Sport Power only at about 30 yards. So as you can see, despite the two rods being quite stiff, um, they've both got nice tips on them for fishing. And they're both pretty powerful rods. I've done 216 litres with the Leader Icon M Sport Power. And I've done uh, 204 metres with the Leader Icon M Sport Ultra Power. So, and I'm still not used to it for casting. And as you might realise, they're quite powerful rods. But still got that nice little tip on it for, for spotting bites and that. Now we wait for another bite. Oh, that looks like one there on the, on the left hand rod. I think I'm gonna wind that one in. So, we're just about to make a move and then my rod got pulled over on the tripod. Um, great. You wouldn't think that a little fish like that, a little bass like that, would be able to pull a big rod rest over with two heavy rods in it, or two powerful rods in it. But, you know what, managed to do it. That's a good catch, wasn't it? <laughs> Pretty solid session so far, quite a few little bass caught. Um, had Adam, my mate, has had some dogfish. Um, yeah, I've had a sea scorpion as well. Oh, I didn't catch that one. Before he kills himself, I'm going to, uh, just gonna go get him back as soon as possible. down there and didn't really have any fish uh, so now I've moved back up to where we were before I'm a little bit further along than we were uh, I've not got much longer left only about half an hour or so but you know the leader icon ultra power has lived up to its uh, expectations to my expectations of it it's a really nice rod really powerful and it's been chucking baits today I mean I'm quite good at casting on the field but my fishing casting isn't quite as good as that but I reckon I have today, I've hit some casts about 150 meters um, with bait, which is, you know, it's quite a decent cast. Um, so if you do want a, like an ultra long range fishing rod, it's a pretty decent rod. The tip on it, now I do use braid for fishing, so the bite detection is very good with braid because it doesn't have any stretch. But even still, um, it does have a very nice tip on it and it means you can spot bites really easily with it. 
I've had, only had about six fish, uh, a few whiting. I've had three or four bass, uh, only only small ones about that big. But yeah, it's a good rod, good solid rod. And I will be taking it out for some sessions at, uh, at some of the rougher ground marks. Now this, here out in front of us, Adam, my friend, who knows the area much better than me, he reckons that it's, it's uh, all sand, essentially, in front of us. But there are, there's the odd rock and stuff, and I have had one or two casts where I have stuck into something, which I assume would be a rock or two, uh, and it's okay because it's got that sort of power, just like a foot down from the tip, it's got this really hefty bit of power, uh, and you can just pull out the snakes fairly easily, providing your reel was up to it. Um, yeah, it's been a really good session. I'll definitely be down here again. It's a really nice venue. This is the Warren at Folkestone. It's sort of this big flat platform that you can fish from. Um, and the scenery is stunning and it's a really nice day. In the summer, I'll be taking the rod down to Sam Phi Ho, um, which is sort of a, it's a great big seawall. You probably can't see it, it's probably not in shot, but a great big seawall um, between Dover and Folkestone. And down the wall there, you've got lots of rough ground, and uh, but lots of wrasse and pollock. So I'll definitely be um, taking the rod down there and seeing how it how it fares with the really rough ground. Right there we are. That was the first session with the leader Icon M Sport Ultra Power down at the Warren at Folkestone. A little bit about the venue. I know I didn't I didn't uh, describe it properly in the video. Um, essentially, where we were fishing was mainly clean sandy. Uh, was a mainly clean sandy area. Um, with a few rocks interspersed, so it wasn't exactly a test for the leader icon M Sport Power, but you know it was, it was a good session. And I really enjoyed using the rod. To the left of where we're fishing, there were a few rocks, and I might be attacking that a bit in the summer, perhaps maybe for some bass or some wrasse. Um, but today was just a good fun day. Got up with my mate Adam. It was really quite nice. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed myself, to be honest. But more than anything, I did want to try out the rod for fishing. I must say. I'm very impressed. One thing I will say that I really like about the rod, I'm not sure if you'll see this very well, but up here we have the tip. The tip is actually very supple, considering what kind of rod this is. It's got a nice little tip, that means you can see the bites, you can see when the fish has taken the bait, and that, that's quite important in the fishing rod. You wanna know, you wanna get that indication of the fish. But the great thing is that it's got this soft tip, you'd think, that, well, does that not render it useless for rough ground fishing? Not really, over here, about, about here-ish, you've got this big sort of lump of power that just comes in. Um, and so when you lift into the fish, the tip bends down a bit, and then suddenly you're into the fish and you're into the guts of the rod. The rod performed really well. Um, it's a really good day, really enjoyed myself, had about, I think it was about three or four bass, a scorpion fish, uh, and some whiting as well on the side, so a few good fish, um, and most of all I just enjoyed using the rod. So that's the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this video, and if you have any questions about um, the leader Icon M Sport Power, or the M Sport Ultra Power, um, then just leave a comment in the description, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video, tie lines, and I'll see you next time.